hello guys this is Asif and in this YouTube video tutorial we are going to create a physical standby database in Oracle 11G Windows environment so we are going to create physical standby database on Oracle 11G in Windows environment we are going to use two databases two database names DB9 and db10 db9 is our primary database db10 is our standby database of course this database has not yet been created even this database i haven't created it i am going to create it in the zero step the steps which we are going to follow in this tutorial are creating source database which of course is db9 preparing source database which is db09 to work as the primary database setting some parameters for source database set primary database to play role of standby database if required prepare network and password files stop and start listener create a duplicate of password file for db which is going to be our standby database bring database in mount mode and create control file for standby database update parameters create required directories create database service copy data files redo log files archive log files from source database to destination database Startup primary database, make standby control file ready for use, bring standby database in no mount mode and then mount, bring rename data files, redo log files as appropriate, bring standby database up and finally verifying the whole configuration. So this whole process is going to be completed in around 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes and i am going to use these two names to work as primary and standby database so let's get started and see how we can create how we can perform our first step that is creating a simple source database using database configuration assistant DP9 is our source database. I don't want to configure, I just want to keep it as simple as possible so that everybody could follow. Use the same username and password, same whatever you want to specify, you can specify here. Yes, this storage, use a common file going to use the location on my e drive or a data up here a new folder will be created whose name is going to be db9 which is our name of the database next i don't want to specify any flash recovery area and i don't want to enable archiving at this stage i will uh, do it but i will do it later on I want to use minimum possible memory no need to use automatic storage management next and next step is going to finish I don't want to use multiple control files I just want to keep it as simple as possible these are our 
files these are our we do log files okay it is fine so i'm just going to hit finish button and everything should went should go smoothly Ping. so now the database will be created in two minutes and once the database is created state number zero which is creating the which is the creation of our source database is complete so once this step is completed we will move to the next step which is preparing our source database for uh, to work as uh, primary database in data stage we are going to specify that our database should be in archive log mode in data space we are a step we are going to specify that our database should be using force logging mechanism so let's continue and see So here our database has been created and now we are going to prepare our database this db9 we are going to do a few things on this database exit just verify it set set oracle db9 sql plus assist dba select name from db9 v dollar database select name from v dollar data file select name from v dollar log member from v dollar log file select name from v dollar control file so you can see that our database is ready which is db9 and we are going to create standby database of this database on the same node so continue archive log list so you can see that our database is not in archive log mode we will convert it and change it to archive log mode show parameter sp file of course it should be using sp file that means it will allow us to specify the location of archive log file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a separate folder in this location whose name is i'm going to specify is archive this folder is going to hold all the archive log files of db9 so i will say alter system set log archive destination one is equal to location equal to the
scope is equal to sp file and the format of archive log files should be alter system set log archive format is equal to arc equal to arc underscore dp9 underscore s underscore r yeah it should be okay dot arc scope is equal to sp file so just recheck it dp90 s or dot arc scope is sp file should be okay yeah now i'm going to shut down this database bring this database into mount mode then issue the command so that the archive log mode is enabled on this database shut down shut down immediate startup mount log archive format must contain st s t and r of course that is our mistake so i will just shut down startup no mount Shut down immediate must contain okay so that is our mistake we will correct it by creating p file from sp file so here we go database where is our p file in it db9 db9 this is our p file and archive destination format d s this is close it create sp file from p file startup mount So now we will issue the statement which will convert our database into archive log mode. So just verify it. Archive log list. So right now our, our database is in no archive log mode. So we will convert it. Alter database archive log. Archive log list. Our database has been converted into archive log mode alter database open alter database open database has been changed to archive log mode now we will enable force logging on our database to do so i will just first verify whether our database is in force logging mode or no select force logging from v dollar database it is not in force logging mode so we will change it alter database force logging select force logging from v dollar database now it is in force logging mode so our steps were the first step 
is complete prepare source database is complete so the in zero step number zero we created a database in step number one we prepared our database to work as primary database we enabled archive log mode and we enabled force logging on our database now what we are going to do we are going to specify few parameters for our source database so let's proceed further and see how we can do it so the first parameter which i am going to specify is log archive config alter alter database set log archive config equal to data guard underscore config equal to db9 is our source database and db10 is our going to be is going to be our target database sorry so this parameter has been specified now i'm going to specify another very important parameter which is log archive destination i'm not going to explain each of the parameters at this stage however if you want you can have a look on oracle documentation and see uh, uh, what is the purpose of each of these parameters alter system set log archive destination 2 is equal to service equal to db9 sorry db10 now affirm async mode valid for equal to online log files comma primary role space DP unique name is equal to DP one zero single quote. Just verify this statement. Alter system set log archive destination to service is db10 of course we are going to create a database whose name is going to be db10 and that database is going to work as a standby database name of the service can be specified as uh, differently however just to make it simple we are going to use the same name of the service uh, that is db10 now affirm asynchronization valid for online log files primary role db unique name is equal to db10 should be okay so that's fine now what i am going to alter system set log archive destination state underscore 2 enable alter system set log archive destination state to enable alter system set remote login file 
equal to alter system set remove plugin password file exclusive equal to sp file alter system set fall failover server equal to dp10 so and the last parameter which i want to specify is alter system set standby file management equal to manual so all our parameters have been specified on primary database so our primary database is ready to be used as the primary database our primary database is ready to be used to send data from one location that is uh, uh, from archive log files to another location to the standby uh, standby database files so uh, we will continue and see what is our next step set primary database to play the role of a standby database if required that means we are supposed to add some standby redo log files into our primary database in case the switch over occurs or failover occurs our primary database should be able to act as a standby database so this is the step and what I am going to do is just verify where is our log files select member from v dollar log file alter database aid standby log file E Aura data DP nine three two zero one STTPY dot log size is going to be fifty M. I'm to show the same statement three two. So that's all. Now our primary database is in a position where it can also be used as the standby database if required. The next step is to prepare our network file and password file. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste a few entries into my TNS names dot aura and listener names dot aura so that they are ready and they can be used as the parameter files for our network configuration files for our new databases so this configuration will hold this is our TNS name start aura db9 is already there and yeah db10 need to be added so what I'm going to do just make some space here make it db10 
können. Db and and here we come description protocol local host dedicated db9 db10 that's it yes save it close it and then update the listener file also for the new entry which is db10 so this is the entry and i'll just change it and just change it should be okay yeah should be okay yes so this has also been done network configuration is also done what i will do i will just restart the listener and uh, we also need to create the password file of our standby database so i will just exit from here copy c oracle product 11 database uh, db database or a pw pwd 9 product 11 pp database init pwt db db10 dot ora so our password file sorry our password file is also ready one new file has been created so now what i am going to do i am going to restart the listener nsnrctl restart should be okay yeah now listener stop start so our listener now knows that it is supposed to deal with db10 also so i'll just exit from here clear the screen and see what is our next step we have started and we have updated the listener file we have updated the we have created the password file we have started and stopped the listener we are creating a duplicate of password file which we have already done that means this step is not required bring database in mount state and create a control file for stain by database so this step is also very important what we are going to do we are going to shut down our database bring it into the mount mode and then create the control file of uh, our primary file so set oracle sid is equal to tp9 sql plus assist tpm shut it down immediately
startup mount alter alter database create stand by control file is new location of the control file is going to be going to be you can create it anywhere I just for my own convenience I'm just going to create it in directly in a folder where it should be that is DB 10 or our data DB 10 name of the file control file is I'm going to skip it as CTL be okay now oh sorry yeah so our control file should be there here it is now the control file has also been created now the next step is to create a parameter file for a standby database very important step here we are going to specify the name of our new control file we are going to specify the locations of other database files very important step so what we are going to do create p file whose name is going to be I'll just copy the location Where is it? create p file equal to c init db 10 ora from sp file now this sp file refer to db 9 this p file will refer to db10 remember this thing we are creating parameter file from server parameter file we are creating parameter file for db10 from server parameter file of db9 So our parameter file has been created and now we are going to update it to suit our requirement. So the parameter file should be here. init db init db9 db10 it we named it as db10 yeah here it is. So what we are going to do we are going to update this parameter file just make it one zero one zero one zero although not required to update these parameters however just to make it simple and understandable for everybody when updating these parameters the location of audit file dump is going to be a new file this location control file okay this is very important this parameter need to be updated this parameter need to specify need to go to a new location which is db 10 
this is okay this is false server db name okay this also need to be same however we will update the db unique name false server is db10 for the time being we can use it i will just make it comment this is okay this is log archive destination is going to be one zero this parameter this parameter is not required at this stage so we will just comment it out out this is okay this is okay this is okay this is okay exclusive on root table space one parameter need to be included that is db db unique name is equal to db10 which is the name of our standby database so all i have updated here i'll show you once again is this parameter although it does not need to be updated however i have updated it this parameter this parameter must be updated because it indicates to the new uh, control file of the standby database this parameter need not to be updated however i have just committed it out so that it does not create any problem log archive config a uh, config parameter should be there uh, i haven't updated it uh, i i've just left it as it is this parameter i have updated it and specified a new location which is db10 and i have committed out this parameter not required on standby machine log archive format i am going to specify it as so uh, that's all about it <coughs> and now we are ready we have got our parameter file using which we will bring our database into uh, no mode mode first okay so this step is also complete okay a parameter file has been created we have updated the parameter file as appropriate create required directives you know we specified different directives in our parameter files uh, we will just verify if those directives are available if those directives are not available we will create them so the first directory is this one which should not be available admin not available db10 and the name is adam adam the second one is this one i hope it is available yeah third one is this one it should not be available i think no so we will create it archive 
folder archive and this is it yeah that's it so all the directories are available right now and required create our database service now we are going to create a database service this database service is going to be used for standby database so what i will do create a service exit clear screen cls or a dim new sid is equal to db 10 service has been created i will verify it by going to services dot msc recall here is the service so we have just created this service okay now proceed and see what is the next step copy data files redo log files archive log files from source to destination so sql plus sstbm select status from v dollar database it was in mount mode as far as i remember select instance yeah it is mount mode shut down immediately all the mount is also okay but uh, it's better to shut down clear the screen now we will see what were our data files so our data files are at this location these are our data files these are our redo log files we will copy them there is no need to copy control file so we'll just copy from here to okay the next step we have copied it start a primary database okay once it is copied we will just restart we will start our primary database Now we will start our primary database which was shut down earlier. We start up just okay. Make standby control file ready for use. That means we will rename our standby control file to the name which we have specified in the parameter file and the parameter name is control underscore file so I am going to rename this file from my dot ctl to control 01 dot ctl because this is the name 
which we have specified in our parameter file and this is our parameter file just to show you okay this is the name which we have specified in our parameter file so it is also done bring standby database in no mount mode so now we are in a position where we can bring our standby database into no mount mode so i will do so this is our primary database select name from v dollar database you can see it this is our primary database i will exit from here our primary database is in open mode open state here you can see okay i will exit from here set oracle sid is equal to db10 sql plus is sysdba first bring the database in no mount mode startup no mount p file equal to init db10 dot ora so our database is in no mount mode now i am going to bring this database into mount mode now so what i will do alter alter database mount should be okay this is our standby database not the primary one now i will open this database in recovery mode so that it could act as the standby database just to show you okay we need to rename our uh, data files uh, this is one of the step very important step which I was uh, just missing so this step is very important because you know uh, our data our machine is the same our primary database and our standby database is going to be on the same machine so if you will come here and say uh, select the name of the data files it will show you the names of those data files which are part of DB9 so if you say select name from v dollar data file it will show you the path which is db9 we need to change it how we can change it we can issue the command of alter database uh, alter data base rename so what i am going to do i am going to issue the command alter alter database rename just write it down somewhere and then copy and paste it okay let's make it simple alter database rename file to now i'm going to repeat this statement again and again So this is going to be db10 actually. Yep. This is going to be db10.
all the data files have been uh, renamed. Now I will rename the temporary file. Temporary file has also been renamed. Now I will rename the redo log files. You remember we have got six uh, redo log files. We will just verify it. Member from v dollar log log file. Yeah. So I will just. It's okay, we will just create a new file. So all our uh, files have been renamed and now we are in a position where we can uh, we can open uh, our database however I will just remove this file which we could not rename because of some internal reason so at this stage our database is ready our standby database is ready we will just issue the command which is going to be our last command hopefully before verification and which is bring standby database up so i will issue the command that is alter database recover manage standby database disconnect from session should be okay yeah so our database is up we will just verify select name from v dollar database 
should be db9 and our db unique name should be db10 so select db unique name from v dollar database should be db10 yeah and i will just exit from here set oracle sid db db9 sql plus is is dba select db name from v dollar database should be db9 sorry select db name select db name from v dollar database Okay. Describe DB Internal Database. Okay, sorry about that. Select name from V Dollar Database. Should be DB9. Select DB Unique Name from V Dollar database should be db9 select sequence number from p dollar archived log so current archive log list is currently number 4 oldest one next and current six so what we will do we will go into our db10 and verify whether our archive log files are being applied to standby database or not so i will just exit from here set oracle sid is equal to db10 sql plus is this dba select sequence number comma name uh, no comma applied from v dollar archived log yes it is being applied i will open a new window cmd set oracle sid db 9 sql plus is this dba select alter system switch log file couple of switches couple of switches couple of switches archive log list is currently 13 i will say same thing it is being applied so that's all about it this is how we uh, can configure a standby database physical standby database on the same machine on the same node we are on one hand we have got db9 which is a primary database on the other hand we have got db10 which is the standby database standby redo log files are being transferred from one location standby uh, archive log files are being transferred from one location from here this location to the other location which is this one these archive log files are being applied from db9 to db10 so this db9 is running as primary database this db10 is running as the standby database these data files are different these data files are different archive log files are being transported from this location to this location 
and th uh, that's all about it and this is how we can configure our standby database physical standby database on the same node it's a detailed steps there are many steps involved in this process if you will follow all these steps carefully this is uh, uh, you will be able to configure the whole environment of running our uh, duplicate database uh, uh, in a standby mode if you have got only one machine you can configure the whole environment uh, to use uh, to be used as primary database you can configure a standby database and you can configure multiple standby database that is also possible so that's all about it thank you very much and uh, hope to see you uh, next time